Hello all my milk lads and welcome back to Star Renegades. It's been a while. I've been I've been jamming out on those fighting games. But we're just gonna start off a new run. I have played quite a bit since we last left off. So we have some new people, some stuff. I'm kinda mixed about how I feel about the game. Which I'll get more into a little bit into this episode. But uh we'll see how far we get in this run. Hopefully we unlock something new. I'll play more carefully. You see up there with T11. Another reality got nuked as always. We're going to go buy an upgrade real quick because it did not save that. But you know, we're just going to see how far we can get. Hopefully very far. <laughs> we do have somebody new, but I tried her out before in a different run. Oh no, I haven't bought her. Let me go back and buy her. Real quick. There's a lot of characters that I do not know how to unlock because it seems like there's not, you don't get them through this menu. So I don't know if there's like side quests or things that you get them from. I did buy her before because she was a healer, but I think I'm going to go with someone I haven't seen at all. Here's my, uh, my physics teacher. I'm glad they put him in the game. Let us see. We'll go with Crab Lady. Crab Lady is always on the team. We'll go with this guy and this guy. Hopefully this is a good setup. I always put them on their secondary because who cares about friendship? <laughs> we don't need that. We don't need friendship around here. The only good kind of friendship is the friendship that gets you money. <laughs> That, that green smelly dough full of germs you know like every run we gotta start off with a little mission to capture an area won't be too bad let's go get our meal card our ration card not much food in the gulag so you gotta keep those smoothies the smoothies close to you have them on deck some credits even though I think credits are pretty I don't know doesn't seem to do much. Since it's pretty hard to kill the behemoth in my in my case, because I'm bad. I'm bad at the game. So I usually don't end up using them. Let's see what this new guy is capable of. I guess we'll just kill him. Maybe. Depending on how much damage this does. Dang. This does a lot of damage. It's because he's got those little chicken legs. You can pump out a lot of damage when you get a lot of chicken feet. Yeah, that's a he did the holy number. Didn't do much. We got this. Oh, it'll be interesting to see how this character plays. I've never played them. Brand new. I'll just set this up because I'm pretty sure I can just push them. Yep. Two, two, two. What is this? Nice twenty-five defense. I guess we'll just do that. <laughs> just tased him. Doesn't you can't tase a robot. They don't feel it. And there we go, quick fight. We'll speed that last bit up. Yeah, I learned you can hold space to speed it up. That would have been really good on the runs that I was grinding out some of that currency to get the upgrade, but my brain is smooth. As smooth as a a river pe pebble, but uh, you know, I'll try for you guys. Let's level up this guy first. What is this? Weakens armor? That's good. It's always good to have something that breaks armor because the first behemoth has been the exact same one for me, like every single run. Just 38 armor, big boy. A little Star Wars walker. These guys never pose a challenge, especially when they're on their own. Same with the last guy. I'm pretty sure we can just push him back far enough. That doesn't do any pushing. Neither does that. Ooh. Maybe the wrong choice? But he's weak against fury attacks. I haven't had very many of them. Big damage. Large numbers. It's my favorite. Nothing, you know, any ladies out there, nothing gets a guy going uh, 
faster than big numbers in a video game. That's what they all want. That's a little hidden tip from me. It's a, it's a industry trade secret, so keep it keep it on the down low. This will murder him. Chicken man, I'm liking you. I'm liking you a lot. You better not disappoint later on in the run. I guess I can talk about some of the issues that I have with the game. I am going to do a review, but I, I feel kind of bad. I, I kind of wanted to end the series, but I feel kind of bad doing a review on a game I haven't completed. But uh, I do have some issues with this game. And I want to cover them in depth when I do review it. So I might play it a bit more. But uh, my main problem with the game is all the runs feel kind of samey. I've gotten to the second planet, so I haven't gotten really far, but even just getting to the second planet takes a while. And it's all pretty similar. Which I think goes against the game. Because the combat's really fun, and the characters are pretty unique, but everything just ends up feeling the same. Because you don't get any different moves or anything just the same stuff all the time which is kind of a turn off I kind of wish they just made the game a story based game like they have they have this this intro cinematic that has like a lot of story behind crab lady but I've gotten to the second planet I haven't seen them do anything with it there's some cool side areas that you end up going to randomly on some runs that are really interesting and cool but they don't have much story either other than like the tiny tidbits you get around the map. So I feel like my motivation to play the game has really been, as he said, crushed by just the fact that most runs feel the same. Like all this stuff is really pretty and interesting to look at, but there's only so many times you can look at it. So I definitely feel like it would have been a lot better if it was mission based, something like an XCOM. But what do I know? I'm just saying it it's what's turned me off because I really like everything around the game except for the fact that it's a roguelike I just feel like it, the game would have done much better if it wasn't a bunch of little weak boys Star Lord always has to go first can't wait till everyone's picked out their their options. The hunchback man can't wait. Does so much damage. And a stun. We got the double stun. Hopefully it means against the the behemoth that he won't have much to do. Cause stunning him while he's on Overwatch is is one of my favorite things to do because it saves us a lot from taking damage, but I only have one stun with Star Lord. So you might be you might be one of my new favorites. Let's just try and kill this dude. We're gonna take some damage, but hopefully it's just the shields. No, no it's not. Yikes. Can we get a big oof in the chat for Chicken Man's health bar? Eh, nobody cares about you, crab lady. You can get shot up. Okay, not too much. Okay, <clears throat> you have a limit on how much you can get shot up. I hope the game audio is not too bad. I've had to go s flip flopping on OBS to try and get the audio right for all the games I've been playing. As you can see with this this first episode of the series, I keep I keep jacking up all the first episodes of every series I play. RoboQuest was my first one, so it's not the best quality. So, hopefully with whatever game we play next on the channel, ends up being better. We might try out some Spelunky too, even though I cry. All the other YouTubers have gotten it early. It hurts. What about the little man? What about the little guy? My god. My poor physics teacher's not doing so well. Not the smartest plays on my uh, on my end today, I will admit. I'm not gonna lie. 
but uh, hopefully they get better throughout the run. There's other things like about the game as a roguelike that I kind of don't like. Like you don't you don't retain your squad size after missions either, because you can get more people throughout the world. Which I feel like would make this these beginning areas go a lot faster. I have seen the patch notes. They're looking to add like an easy mode. But I don't necessarily want to put it on easy mode. I think the difficulty is fine. I just feel like a, there's not enough meta progression there to really beef you out through these areas. And I don't know if you unlock more meta progression. Because I almost have every upgrade for the drones. I don't know if you get them in optional areas that are just rare, because, like I said, there are optional areas. You can go into, like, the caves and the the mausoleums and stuff. But I don't. they don't happen often. I've been having them, like, every other run recently. So I don't know if there's a trigger to set them off. No clue. Let's level you up, chicken man. You need it. I'm sorry. I've mistreated you. <laughs> oh, he has forbidden knowledge. Maybe there's a reason he was getting shot up. Enemy doesn't doesn't want his forbidden knowledge to get out. Dang, nothing for him. These are all level three and four. I guess I'll just stash it for later. Is it just him? Yep. It looks like we're going this way. We don't have any really fire damage, so we can stun him, take him out real easy. And there's also some like amazing area designs in the optional areas too. There's just there's a lot of cool stuff surrounding this game, but I really think that the game didn't need to be a roguelite. Just in my opinion, it's it's one of those things that when you think about it, it sounds great. Procedurally generated runs, like l lieutenants like this. But the, I don't think the items are interesting enough. Are that game changing to warrant it being a roguelike? So, I'm a little disappointed. The game's still fun. I still like it. I just don't know if I'm gonna end up finishing it. I will try for the YouTube channel. You know, for you guys. But that's that's all I have to say before the review. Oh my god, he got melted. That's what my physics teach is all about. We're definitely gonna enhance his armor, because he needs it the most. Yeah, yeah, ruthless gangster. Boohoo. Nah, he isn't gonna get. No one's gonna get turned off by mass murders. They just want the schmeckles. As long as a man has schmeckles, there's gonna be people who are willing to do work for him. It's just how it be. People are schmeckle hungry. Let's see, what is he? Enforcer. Yep. Let's add some armor to him. And let uh, there's some DNA back here. I'll I'll take this run more seriously. I'll I'll take the time to go grab these pickups. Even if though there's only one DNA. And this will only be a few schmeckles, I'm guessing. Three, not that bad. We actually have enough to buy a piece of equipment this time, not like last run where we got to the second planet. Yes, yeah, so all we have left to do is go camping. Luckily we can heal him up. And get some friendship out of it too. Uh, does this also heal? Resistant to laser plus 25 and irradiated for two combat. Nah, it doesn't do much. <laughs> it still didn't end up healing it much, which kind of sucks, but uh, I just have to not get him injured, right? It's pretty easy. Sounds pretty good. I just want to see what their combo move is. It's interesting to see all the characters combos moves. It doesn't happen often. So you used to be a defender right? 
I was before I realized that we weren't really defending the people. We were deep in the pockets of intergalactic corporations. Oh, he's speaking the truth. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? Now, would you mind passing me my official Neural Blast Athletics Corps Defender Edition water bottle? Yeah. Crab Lady's a sellout. We got a, we got a, we got a real big boy here. And there's nothing else I can really do. I don't want to use that food card, even though it's, it's not great. I haven't really been irradiated at all. Yeah, yeah, Mega Temple talk. If I had a, if I had a food card for every time they brought up the Mega Temples, I'd be, I'd be winning every single round. I wonder. I also thought it'd be cool if you could unlock these bounty hunters through, through fighting them enough. Like, maybe those are some of the locked characters, but I don't think so. I wonder why I can't use the stun on the first round. No clue. This will kill him right away. It's insane. He does so much damage. Dude, Star Lord ate that. He just... He loved that. Didn't do nothing to him. by crab man so how's everybody out there doing you guys having a good day you know you're probably not if you're watching this video you probably probably ended up here going down the wrong path you know probably shouldn't be watching these videos nope. need the dark things I don't know what but it might oh my god this guy does so much damage he's on every run he's already guaranteed a spot with it, with that much damage guaranteed, easy. Sorry, kid. Boba Fett looking, looking dude, you're gone. Yeah, give me that DNA. Give me, give me that juicy, them juicy helixes. I'll take them. Put them in inside of myself. Beef myself up. So we gotta fight him and him to end off the day. But we do get a good piece of loot. Hopefully for my physics teacher. He deserves it. He deserves that top and that top notch gear. Of course, sh red shit lord gets the gets the attack first. I think we should just send them off. Hopefully, uh, hopefully chicken legs can take him out. Oh, he's resistant to it. Okay. Then I might as well just stun him for now. And go at him with crab lady. That way almost everybody gets... Thunder broken, except for this guy in the middle. No damage, luckily. But we gotta end this next turn. I don't know if we can, but we'll try. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to end it. Who can we kill? Uh, I forgot to look if she was going to take any damage. I gotta start blocking more, I at least forget. I'm too impulsive. I just wanna... I just wanna finish off the fight as fast as possible. Speed this up a little bit. You guys have seen this probably a million times. Broken. And this should kill him. Oh, it's so close. I don't think he has. he's gonna have any debuffs on him after this. No bleed or anything. But he will die in one hit. <coughs> oh, he did have bleed. There we go. Very, very nice. He's going after my physics teacher. How dare you. Let me get him out of here. You're not going to get to hurt anybody this round. 
he's resistant to it, but it still it still chips away at it pretty well. And his armor's gone. It's not too bad. He's pretty low, but uh I should actually try and check around where there's a health station. Maybe that would be good. But as of right now, it's loot time, boys. Mm -hmm. Nothing around here. It's probably locked off already. Nope, there just there just isn't one around, which sucks. Yeah, yeah. Fuck your garbage. Oh my god, nothing. It's all for Star Lord. Plus 25 damage. I'll take it, I guess. And start leveling them all up. I wonder if I can equip anything on him now. Since he's level 3. Yes, I can. Oh, oh it's level 4. I'm thinking about her. There we go. And he cannot get anything. Dang. Oh well. Let's see. Who, do you, who does he have? Oh, it's not telling me. Just him and one other guy. This should be fine. You know, famous last words and all, but... I think we got this. I, uh, I also didn't check his weaknesses, which is something I should be doing more often. But re who reads? Nice weak against normal attacks. That's good. And this kills him. Yeah, I think we should be fine for this fight. And then we can try and heal up as much as we can at night. Even though I don't think the behemoth will be the too bad, too bad this run, because we got two stuns. And hopefully the character that we get after this planet is pretty decent. I wouldn't mind like AoE Robot Man. I forget his name, but he was Robot Daddy from the first episode. I would not mind him at all. I'm just gonna stun him. Yeah, it seems like stuns are pretty broken as of right now. I was reading some stuff also in the patch notes that they were gonna they were gonna debuff some some stun damage that you can get bumped up. So I probably could have seen some broken stuff from that and uh, you know use that to help me in the runs, but uh, I didn't care enough to retain as much knowledge as I needed to. Okay, he's broken immediately. I wonder if this will kill him. Oh, very close though. I think we still have our other stun, maybe. No clue. I don't. I don't have enough brain cells to remember anything from earlier on in the fight. This will kill him. <laughs> oh no! Imagine. Oh, it did not. I thought it would. Does this kill him? It does. Mm, no, it doesn't. Dang, he has like no HP. And she took some health damage, damn. It's exactly what I didn't want, but nothing we can do, we gotta live with it. And he can't live with anything, so get out of here. Don't be friends with Star-Lord, I thought I've told you Crab Lady. Star-Lord is true evil, way worse than these guys. It's night time. Who did we have to level up? You. Can you level 4 gun? No, I don't want to level you up. I'll do it. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll probably end up going for another 20 minutes. I'm probably going to have to end up splitting this run into multiple episodes. Depending on how good I do, I guess. I could just die at the behemoth. That's always uh, an option. Finally. Some armor for my main mans. Is there anything around the map? Any DNA? If there's a credit. I don't. I don't think it'll matter that much. 
so I'm just gonna camp. I don't feel like walking all that way. Or editing it to speed it up. He's finally getting close to being maxed out. Friendship card. I wonder... What do you have at this point? Yeah. This is a lot better. Even though I wanna, I wanna increase their friendship first. It's definitely more worthwhile to heal up. Since I think after tomorrow is the behemoth. And we'll have... Their combo move anyway, so... No need. No need to rush it and not heal up. We might be at max HP for... Tomorrow. We don't end up doing anything stupid. Oh, there was a health contain- Oh, I'm so stupid. And it was right here. Okay, guys, I might be a little brain dead. But please. Please don't roast me. Actually, if you comment, I'm fine with you. Just destroying my my intellect. I would love a comment, you know. Make my day. The only comment I've ever gotten that isn't from one of my boys, one of my, one of my friends, is from a sex bot. Which is pretty great. So I'll cherish that first comment forever, but, you know, I'd like a real person to. <laughs> I don't think these guys will be much of a much of a deal, much of a problem at all. This guy's so good at just taking out trash. These trash enemies don't stand a chance against my 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 stanced up physics teacher. Ah, oh, two off, so close, no holy number. She didn't take any HP damage, but we do have to fuck them up next turn. That kills. And I think he'll die from... Lieutenant Chicken, or whatever his name... You know, his name's Lieutenant Chicken. I'm changing, it's been officially changed. I think you can actually rename characters in the squad. The squad menu, so... By the next episode, he will be Lieutenant Chicken. Or whenever the next run is. We got 20 Schmeckles. I wish there was a way to, like, that you didn't have to go through all your charges. It kinda sucks. Because I wish I could just avoid fighting and then... End up just... Speeding up the night instead of just going here. Like, I don't want to fight, I want to get the buffs from camping. But oh well. There might be a button, maybe, I, I don't know. There was a speed up button I didn't know about. We'll speed this up. Since I don't got too much time. Yeah, yeah, you're about to get real jacked up. Even though he resists fire. Let's speed this up. I know, look at this. Magic. Makes the fight ten times better. <laughs> okay. He's not being moved by anything. Do I have the stun? No, that won't kill him. This will. We have to take a little bit of damage, though. Which kind of sucks. Hopefully Crab Lady doesn't take too much. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's see. Okay, she didn't take any health damage. It's all good. Easy. Easy claps. Got all our shields back, and it's night time after we get to this health station. We don't have to worry about healing up at the campfire. We can just spend all our tokens on buffs. No DNA around. I guess I'll go get these coins now. It is about to be the last day, and I do want to have them fully armored up. Like I said, I'm taking this run a little bit more seriously. I'm not just going to try and rush as fast as I can. The game is harder than I expected. You know, not to say much because, you know, I've beat all the Dark Souls games. Every single optional boss. You know, my gamer score is pretty up there, you know, pretty high. It's the upper echelon. But maybe I should take this game a little slower. I have had some misplays. I haven't ended up doing much. 
I also have a buff that gives me armor after camping, so we'll be all set. Oh, we will be all set for tomorrow's fight. Like, it's always this guy. I don't know, maybe I've had bad luck. Let's get that combo move. No one cares about you. <laughs> Pathetic. Nobody, nobody loves you, Star-Lord. Garbage. Even though your moves are good. Nobody loves you. And there we go, we have the combo move. Oh, uh, they're just talking about lore. They were a cult of genetically mutated spider people. Why can't we have one of them? Well, they hadn't done anything yet. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, you can't, you can't just go killing genetically mutated spider people. Even if they are disgusting. You can't be doing that. Let's go with this, since I'm probably going to do the battle cry on the behemoth. So it'll be good to have some more health on her. Maybe I should use that smoothie. He uses a lot of lasers, but I have no clue. Yes, the behemoth has arrived. He should be he should be very afraid of us. He should be very, very scared. Oh, it didn't give us the the armor buff. I wonder if we have to equip that. We can just immediately that's a lot of dam- oh no, I did the meme, that's a lot of damage. I would edit it in, but uh, I've been really la lazy lately, and I just got Adobe Premiere, so... Dang, he doesn't like, push them back at all. Who's gonna be taking damage? Crab Lady? Oh well. Yeah, I guess that's the negative thing about him, he doesn't- he can't really break. At least with any of the skills he has right now. Which kinda sucks. But that is a lot of damage. That was also a lot worse. We also could have had some stuff to equip, I don't remember. That doesn't do any breaking. But this should... Yep. Yep, yep. Big numbers coming out. Real large numbers. She got some armor back at least. The tiniest bit. You've been broken. You little shit. Ew. Splurgy noises. We'll save that for probably next turn. We don't have any of the stuns. There's no point in doing that. Yeah, I don't know why stuns just suddenly disappear. Maybe I'm missing something. Which I probably am. Everyone's about to get jacked up here, but they all get fully healed. After each planet, I think. So it'll be fine. Because he'll probably be dead in the next turn. Did his shields just eat that? She got scanned. It's over. They're gonna put the chip in her. I don't know if that'll kill her. It doesn't say death blow. So I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it doesn't say death blow, so I'm just going with it. His armor seems to take up a lot of it. Yeah, we'll just go for the the combo move next round and hopefully end it off. 40 damage to Star Lord always makes my day when he gets uh, he gets hurt. That was not nice. Oh, I shot. Probably should have looked. Now he's dead. No combo move. I'm sorry, Chicken Man. Hopefully we can kill him. Oh, this is gonna suck if we can't. He's rebooting, so I don't think he's gonna do anything this turn. Oh, I did not play that well at all. He's gonna get his shields back. Hmm. Yeah, 
That would have been so much easier if I just played it any better. Okay. I don't know if we can do this one, boys. No clue. Absolutely no clue. I can stun him, though. Can I just blitz him? No. I have to stun. I wonder if the stun is only active on turns when they're attacking. I'd really like to figure that out, but I don't think I will anytime soon. She keeps getting a little bit of armor back, but one good attack on her will just completely destroy anything that we have. Speaking of which, I don't think we can do anything. Nothing will break him, so I'm just going to defend on both of them. Please live this. Oh no! What have I done? I lost the run because I got too greedy with damage. And this won't break him. I think it's... I think it's over for you, Star-Lord. <laughs> I think it's over for this run. This is gonna be the sad run. But uh, I think on the next episode we'll just pick up after the Behemoth. Since you guys already got to see this. Uh, I apologize for my garbage play if you were interested in something better by episode 4. But I'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll be on the second planet for sure. So, see you guys. Stay milky, stay safe. And I hope you guys stay tuned for the next episode. At least we teared up. See ya.